Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Weekday morning, 6 to 10. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest with us today in the building. That's right, our guy Wale. Wale. What's up, what's up? Now, what, we seeing a kind of a gentle Wale in 2014? <laughs> I ended up 2013 with a bang. bang. Yeah. Definitely with a bang. But I, I'm entitled to one of those a year. I, I had to get it off before the year was over. The last Wale moment of the year. Status quo. Yeah. You know, I had to meet that. <laughs> I had to meet the status quo. Have, they, have Kai's Complex reached out to you since then? I don't, I don't know. I don't, you don't know. I don't even. Yeah, actually, they did, but whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, y'all got y'all luck. Explain to the people what happened if they don't know. Explain to the people what happened. Wale was I upset. Had a that. temper tantrum. Yeah, the epic rant. I had a Wale moment. <laughs> but you know, it's funny though, because I said on, I said here on the Breakfast Club that, because you said in, in there that you feel like it's personal that like they had a personal vendetta. I mean, it is you. every. You know, to be honest with you, I ain't, I'm not gonna. I'm not the type of person. I don't name names and like when media people tell me stuff, I don't. I don't air them out. I don't right. put that. But right. every most of my friends in media have said it's personal. Oh, so. I, I told Wale that. You know what I'm saying? It's, so. D, it's DJs and you know certain magazines and stuff that really just don't like Wale. Bloggers. But, but why? I don't, I don't know. understand why. What I made myself people? so easy to love. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They might have had a bad experience. I don't know. It's people that don't like the but you know, club. It's, it's it is what it is. Like it's people that don't like you. Yeah. It's people don't like you. You. It is what it is. But it's just like at some point. You really got to just let it go. But it hurts my soul because some of my career is contingent upon some people liking me. Mm -hmm. Some of the gatekeepers, you know what I'm saying? If some people, if certain people say, you know what, I like Wale now. Some certain open door, certain doors open for me. You know but what I'm everybody saying? Everybody has a list, and I, I feel like that complex list, I might not even have noticed it if you went on. A... Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's, that's, that's what Jay said. Jay said I made them relevant. I made, I, you know what I'm saying? So, and, and it's true, like, but it is what it is, like, I, I, I read Com I used to like Complex, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it, it made me feel like, dang, I thought we were from the same type of understanding. And one thing I want people to understand is, like, everybody, n most of us work. I would hope you have a job or you work right. or you're working towards something. And you go to work every day. You go to work, you bust your ass every day. You you you, you blood, sweat, and tears. Some n do. Some n put their blood, sweat, and tears into their job. Whether you work at McDonald's and you working on the fries, and then you want to do the floors, and then you want to be making burgers, whatever. You bust your ass every day, and then you got to constantly look at people looking at you and, like, like hiring new employees and putting them over you or, you know, completely, like, ignoring the fact that you've been working here for four, four or five years, busting your ass at work on time. You know what I'm saying? Why don't I, why I, why I never get an employee of the month? Right. Why I never get, you know what I'm saying? So all the like, are you whining, complaining, bitch? Think of me the next time you want that raise, the next time you want that raise that you know you earn, and they and they front on you. Mm -hmm. Think about me then. Think about how you want to go to your boss and be like, you bitch ass. Or think about how you want to go to your company and be like, fuck all y'all. You know what I'm saying? I've been yeah, working. I'm going to Burger King. I thought, really yeah. cursed like that. I thought this was the huh? gentler side of Wale. Yeah, yeah, what happened? Nah, but no, you know, but I want you to think right. of me at that particular moment because a lot of us work hard. Some of us right. don't work at all. No, Some, I feel you. I, I feel being very passionate about feeling like you need to to get the rewards that you deserve for the it's, work it's, that you It's put just in. like yo, and then it's like at some point, let's just let's just keep it all the way real. Then like such and such, don't have me do nothing for you if you're going bad mouth me or mm -hmm. you're gonna like you're gonna put down what I'm doing right. because I'm speaking to a big audience of people. This is in DC with nothing. That that's that guy every Wale CD. That's like damn, that's my hero. Mm -hmm. There's that's just coming home that's like yo you, you know Wayne Perry called me Wayne Perry called me like yo I made a lot of mistakes in my life I ruined a lot of lives but what you doing young brother you giving hope you know what I'm saying that's people that that matters to right. so you trying to make it look like we don't matter at all but Juicy Juicy J caught a, a, a straight bullet yeah Juicy yeah. album was hot though Juicy, I you like Juicy and I saw Juicy man yeah. it's all good like mm -hmm. two different type of it's rap just, it's just it's just my like I said out on the record it's my confidence like mm -hmm. I think my album was the best album that came out. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have put it out if I didn't think so. Right. We just did a, well, I can't say it's going to air soon, but we just did something big uh, together. Uh, myself, him, Janae Aiko, and a couple of celebrities, whatever. But, uh, what, what, what'd you guys something, do? if I say it, they might take me off of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, you said you talked to Jay about it, because, you know, Jay, Jay said in a record, just read a magazine that messed up my day, and, you know, how do you rate music the, the, with thugs, thugs that nothing, nothing relate to it. it? So that goes back to what it, you said it had him, it had, him, it had him at one point. So, I don't think he realized. He, he he coming from another perspective now, so I don't know, necessarily know if he all the way remembers the times where, you know, magazines was fronting, them all, fronting on him. Not all just magazines, way. rappers. Everybody. It was rappers in New York who hated Jay-Z yeah. and Big. 
Man, you gotta understand there was Luda, Nelly selling eight million, mm -hmm. Eminem selling ten gazillion thousand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Jay just ran his course. Right. He ran his course and now everybody kissing Jay. But so the greater that you are, the more haters you have. It's I just mean, I mean, like it's just but he be, he told me like you really made them relevant and and it's true though. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. But like you know, that's just me. If it wasn't be me, if I like, it <laughs> hurt my, it hurt mind. my feelings. Yeah. It hurt my feelings. Complex. It, it won't no more though, cause y'all show me y'all colors. Right. You know I, what well, I'm saying? I just love. I lo like. I don't care about the money, Joe. Like I like the sport, yo. Like I, I played sports my whole life, so mm -hmm. I'm. I like the the the, the competitive nature. Mm -hmm. Like you know, what I'm saying I like the the sport of rhyming and like you know, I want to have quadruple entendres on certain records and everybody to be rewinding them and then be in the locker room at the lunch table talking about you hear what he said. That's what right. I care about. But you know that's why you got to constantly channel things like that through your music because whenever but you, you... know... If you start yelling and screaming... Well, like how that, I then, felt at the time is like, okay, I've been doing that for six years. I came into the game when I was like 21 years old. I've been, I've been doing it... Like, I've been using that mode... Oh, oh, Interscope drop you. Use it as motivation. Oh, I come out and drop a, a gold album. Who you know but got dropped, came back and dropped the gold album? Mm -hmm. Dan the Grammy nomination. Right. Use it as motivation. I got the most played record on Urban Radio, and they didn't put it on the Grammys. They fronted on you this year. Yeah, nah, you they gave you Kendrick, got, uh, Kendrick got a got song that's on NBA 2K and, uh, and a bonus jump, and mm -hmm. it's nominated in that category. You got some, some people going to say, because Kendrick is better than you. Ah, All right, well, we, let's... What up? No, ba got, battles, the, battles the butler. You got shit. your opinion. You got your and opinion. Bad, bad shit got, yeah, bad shit got nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, at, at some point, you got, at some point, you're going to be like that person that's working there at that, that KFC. And it's like, yo, it's building up in me now, right? Like, mm -hmm. why can't I? What am I doing wrong? I done did all this radio press. I done did all this. I done, I done done my my runs. I done came to everything on time. I, I, I've been respectful mm -hmm. to everybody. At what point? Is it that somebody, you got to deal with all these fake people are coming up to you in the street. Wale, give me your picture. These are the same people that's dogging you online. Right. These are the same people that's calling you You crazy, you ain't Kanye. You know? And these are the same people that are in flight club that's that's lining up to take your picture. Mm -hmm. That are putting their joint on Facebook. Look at this I ran into. Da, 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 da. You was just. Right, you so just... It's, it's just a combination of things, but. I'm in a place now. No, you're not. I'm, I'm <laughs> in a place. No, you're not. You're no, not. no, you're not. Let me finish. I'm in a place now where it's like I'm at the bat. I'm at bat again, trying again to do it. Right. But like, I feel like I embody a real human though. Like a lot of these guys got this built up. They get, they get, they got this built up, and they, they, they channel, channel it. I'm like, y'all know. Why they let it out? It. You ever thought about going to etiquette class with Meek Mill? <laughs> 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 my my emotions is like I was like it's the dreams and nightmare intro. That's how I feel. Yeah. You know, That's how I, my I always want to ask you about Tierra Thomas. Yeah. And whatever happened with that situation? We about that last Did she time. drop she dropped the EP or something? Yeah, she dropped yeah. the EP. It was you heard it? Yeah. No, I haven't heard it. Oh. <laughs> this guy's crazy. No, I mean, nah, nah, shout nah. out to Tierra, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I thought I thought she was solid. I, re I remember you came you coming up here one time and you were so passionate about her. Oh. And, and that you I you, hope this part don't edit this out. Nah, what? Yeah, go, I like this. I was passionate. <laughs> you were very passionate about her and you, you you were talking to everybody that you had an artist that you were yeah. proud of and you were gonna show the world how to break her. Yeah. Then um a she couple came weeks up later, here. she signed to Division One. Yep, and then she came up here yeah. and she said she couldn't sign to Wale because Wale don't have a label for nobody to sign to. Right. So this is you know, when you when you when you coming back from getting dropped, ain't no doors open. Mm -hmm. Ain't no doors open for you. But you like, yo, I believe in, you got, what, 200 followers on Twitter. So I'm going to help you. I'm going to get back. I'm getting my, I'm getting, I, I said, I said, yo, my touring ain't slowed down. I'm richer than I was before I got signed. And Jimmy Iovine trying to sign me back right now mm -hmm. and, and give me a deal with Polo to Don. Mm-hmm. Ride it. You gonna you gonna you gonna come on board. We gonna get this money together. You know what I'm saying? So in theory, it's your label. It mm -hmm. ain't like what lawyer I'ma pay. Like all right, cool. You you know how it is. No, like I got my sh I got my sh popping. So yeah. so let's do it. Mm -hmm. I'ma spend my money. I'ma have you in the crib. Get you. You know have you know all my carrying her guitar around. GMO getting her stylist and all that. She was in D.C. Everybody seen her in D.C. Mm -hmm. Performing with go-go bands and all that. You know I'm doing what any nigga would do. So I dropped that gold album. Everybody like, oh, wow. Like, yeah, guess what? I got this artist I'm trying to break, you know? And then the rest is history. Mm -hmm. I don't want to I don't want to sound like I'm bad mouthing nobody. No, no, we just asked what happened, that's all. But you know, everybody, it's like every, time, like I, every time I open my mouth about it, it's like I, I feel like 
she's somewhere like upset, like like uh, crying about it or something, like uh, no. or like I I feel like somebody her from her camp is just like you're so such a, but it it just is what it is. Yeah. You it's feel just, like she was disloyal. Good job, Wale. <laughs> he ain't even go to etiquette class. Now let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about what we're here for too. The documentary on revolt. Yeah. Okay, Wale. I am from. Yeah. So you went to Nigeria. Was that your first time going there? My first time. Wow. And it was a trip you've been planning to take for quite some mm, time. Yeah, it's been delayed about three years, mm -hmm. four, four years. So what happened on this trip? What did you experience that we're gonna get to see? Oh man, a lot. It was emotional. It was an emotional roller coaster because um, I, my my intention is I wanted to go to the village. I wanted to go see like you know, a lot of people in my family, my my grandparents and all that. And um, the business like took over. Mm -hmm. Like I just had to, I had to really be on business mode the whole time. And which is cool because I'm a professional, so uh, but it took over. Like, I what do you mean by business? I just over? had to do. You know, I, I got a sponsorship with Johnny Walker, and uh, I had to do a lot, a lot. So I couldn't really go there. So we just had to finagle it out to get the convoy. We had to call the government. We had to get the convoy. So I sent my father and my uncle down to the village to get my grandfather so I could meet him for the first time. Mm -hmm. So you bought wow. liquor to the village? Nah, I wasn't going to bring <laughs> I'm about no to liquor. say they need I wasn't going to turn, turn up. I wasn't turning up. I wasn't turning up the village. But okay. <laughs> now nah, I got I brought I, so I met my grandfather for the first time. So it was it was really intense. And I don't really show that side of myself. I like to keep my personal life away. Mm -hmm. Y'all get my emotional, but y'all don't really get the y'all don't know who I'm dating or like what Oh, what, yes what? we do. We read about that from Seattle. Uh, wh which one? Which one? So rumor has it Wale has a girlfriend. Uh huh. And they said you rap about her all the time, and y'all been together for two what years. What rap? I said I said one thing about Seattle. <laughs> any song? What? What's all the time? All right. So that's not your girlfriend. What about the girls from Miami I rap about? Okay. I got I got I got somebody. You got a lot of chicks. I, I I got somebody special in my life. Okay. But last time we talked, I told you I didn't have any. But right, like you did say I'm that. just. I don't mean I got a girlfriend. I got somebody special in my life. <laughs> so, why, so why not make her your girlfriend? Because I'm I'm paranoid. I'm scared. Man. What are you scared about? What you mean? Everybody can't have it as good as you. You got the Rolls Royce, no. the fam. That's, I, mine was 16. Wait, mine no, was no, no. 16. See, that's what I'm saying. Well, you got, then, you, got it, you got it from the grind up. Right. If you look at you, look at look at them now. Look at the ring, look at the watch. <laughs> you a single man right now. You gonna see? You gonna see how things change. You gonna be paranoid. Gonna be paranoid. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's impossible for you now, Wale, because you can never go back Unless and you be go Wale back to, yeah. at the bottom again. Well, sweet, I take my time. Oh. All right. So, what makes her special, but not special enough to be your girlfriend? She's special to mm -hmm. me, but I don't want it. I don't want. I don't want. You know, I don't want my my life could could my, I could easily ruin somebody's life. Now, even now, with this part of this interview, it's going to, they're going to be Googling her. <laughs> Googling her name, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm actually going to bribe her to take this off the interview. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all been together for two years and she ain't Instagram a picture of y'all yet, you can trust her. Not together. See, that's what I'm trying to say, <laughs> though. She's special. I okay. Just, I just, I just, I just... I just was out with, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not... I'm not trying to I'm not trying to insult nobody, you know what I'm saying? But you I don't just, want to ruin the other chicks. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm, I'm here. I'm out here right now. <laughs> your, your side chicks got feelings too, is what you uh, said. Everybody got feelings. I got but don't feelings. you feel like what if you miss out on something because you're too scared to lock it down? That's you don't the, think that's, about that's that. The, that's like the yin and the yang to, to the rich and the fame, yo. Mm -hmm. That's the highs and the ups and the downs. That's all that. That's that's all in the album that I dropped. She doesn't gifted pressure. in stores. Huh? She doesn't pressure you. Why are we? I thought we were talking about Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna get back to that. What type of. She doesn't. She doesn't pressure you though. She's not like. I mean, what's going on with us? I've been rocking with you for this long. You know. You know. You know. She. This person that you're talking about right now, that who may or may not exist, <laughs> is gonna be bothered on. As you ruining somebody life right you're now. Ruining Are you ruining somebody's life that? right now. <laughs> everybody ain't. Everybody ain't ready for VH1. Okay. Everybody ain't about that life. Some people like a normal life, yo. <laughs> and those. Okay. And those. Now that we talking, let's talk about the type of woman I like. Okay. I like a girl that that that. That don't exist to this world. That who 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 rebukes every every part of this world. She's regular. 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 Extra, I want the most extra regular yeah. girl in the world, man. I want her to be in college or just getting out of college or even trying to figure it out, but just passionate about something. Like she'd make a face if you offer her a reality exactly. show. Exactly. Like, oh, what? what? Well, I don't think that's impossible to find at all. I don't want her to know who none of these girls are. Mm -hmm. None. I all don't want rappers. her. To, I don't want her to know who nobody or with over fifty thousand followers on Instagram. You don't even want her on Instagram, maybe. <laughs> I don't even. Well, she gotta be on Instagram because she mm -hmm. likes it. 
but like <laughs> I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't want nothing. I, I I just I don't I got enough. I'm crazy enough. Mm-hmm. I don't need nobody who's in this game, Joe. I don't But need, you but you've dated other women in the industry. Yeah, so, I play so that with makes them. You I play. Like... We play. We play. We play. I like playing with them. <laughs> you gonna get texted after this interview like, oh, word, we play. No, we play. they know we play. We play. They know we play because I, I flirt with them. They flirt with me. Mm-hmm. We play. Yeah. We play, and it's cool to play because it, it makes the music interesting. Now let's get back to Nigeria real quick. I had a nigga. Uh, I, I got a. I got a, <laughs> I got a dude. I got a dude. Sweating who, bullets over here. Yo. I got a dude who's an exec in the industry, and he's from Africa, and he mm-hmm. said um, Wale would be ten times more big if he embraced Africa. Now, now I I always ask the question like. My name could have been MC Scratch and Sniff, right? Yeah. Scratch and but I use my real Nigerian name. That's the first red flag of embracing it. You know what I'm saying? My first album, I sampled a famous African record. Did a video for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've worked with WizKid. I worked with Alami Day. I worked with a lot of these people. Just because they're not on the U.S. radar, you know what I'm saying? I don't know I don't know if I need to go, like, Lil Wayne on and put the tattoo of like the a, a, of a Nigerian <laughs> scripture, Nigerian Yoruba scriptures on the side of my face, so they could be like, yeah, I don't know if I gotta come in wearing an agbada or something like that. But I, you know, I do my best. I don't want to. I don't want to. Like com- I don't want to commercialize it and look like I'm trying to like. Nah, I think he embraced Come it. in this joint and be like, you know, the new Sunny Ade. Like, it I was don't, like, you can make so much money over there. How do I don't? I, but I, that's 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 like trying to. That's like putting some shit on like yo. My albums look new shoes. My albums coming out. <laughs> like you just trying, mm-hmm. you just trying to whore out the. Like it ain't about that. Like I'm not. Well, always said it's not about the money. I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm Nigerian. You know it. Mm-hmm. I'm also from DC. You know it. I'm a little bit off sometimes. You, you know, know it. it. <laughs> so <laughs> that's like 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 love me. Like it's it is what it is. Like, I talk about it. even in um a lo- lo- uh, love hate thing. My sutana was clean. That's the Nigerian gown you wear to church. Like all the Americans tease. I'm not gonna like be like yeah I'm African. Let's go hunting for lions. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, to, that's, what, that's what a lot of people think Africa is. Like, oh, where's his spear? Like, why isn't he on stage, like, doing a tribal dance? Like, oh, man. yo, Nigeria look like New York. Like, Lagos look like New York City. They want you to put Simba on your T-shirt. Yeah, though. nah, oh, my man. Now, you just threw your sneaker on That's like up. That's like Drake walking around with a yarmulke, like, He's, I'm, d- he's done that. But like, yo, no, like, like he's <laughs> not done that. This is the OVO Yamaka <laughs> joint. Like, look, I'm, I'm out here. Now you just threw your sneaker on the table. Uh huh. Now, now what sneak is that? That's the Supreme Phone Posits. Nah, these just some. What, what are they? I mean, because they, they, they don't come out, and they, there's a huge waiting list for them. There was about 5,000. Everybody, Listen, Wale's a huge sneaker head, but he got a sample size foot. So that's why he wins, and that's why he gets he's everything before size everybody. Foot. <laughs> Every sneaker store I go into, they be like, ah, oh, Wale. But you know why Wale get it? Because he got the sample size foot. <laughs> I'm gonna start wearing size ten. <laughs> this is show <laughs> I ain't playing. Bro, man. They be like, you got the same. Yo, but they be I'm really bad in, though. So I'm gonna yeah, start wearing twelves. So like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I'm coming with the size thirteen new phones from 2020. You used to get that on your Instagram too. Somebody be like, man, fuck you, you got the sample size foot. Yeah. Like, the show <laughs> Why are you mad about that? Bro, you tall <laughs> get all the bitches. So <laughs> like, <laughs> Now, I saw recently that you did that photo shoot for Harper's Bazaar. The yeah. fashion world has definitely embraced you always. Mm-hmm. You know what I like? The fact that I, 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 I'm I getting embraced by the fashion world, and it's like on my own terms. Because mm-hmm. a lot of this is dressing funny, man. I, I, I keep my... I'm classic, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I represent Biggie and Jay-Z era, mm-hmm. like, when, you know, it was, you know... No, I ain't knocking nobody, but, like, I, you know... I'm like, When it was less masculine, European. Masculine. Yes. Like, I just, you know, we, we do... Our, I'm not going... I'm not trying to... Chase no trends and mm-hmm. all that. Like I ain't doing like the, the kill. You're not gonna rock the leggings with the phone, nah, B. Nah, no leggings. You ain't seen no leggings. No leggings. No leggings with phone. <laughs> <laughs> I seen a couple. You know what I'm saying? That's you know that's just them. But I, I have people you know, ever tried to put you in a photo shoot and yeah, something that you would yeah, never they wear. Tried, they tried. They tried. I can imagine. I got the uh, I got the leggings one time. I had to <laughs> I had to get on my diva. Like yo, we gonna hold this joint up real quick. I'm gonna send somebody to HR and give me some PRPSs and we gonna keep it moving. <laughs> You know, why do you think the gifted was slept on though? I mean, slept. I mean, there's only about five rappers who sold more than me last year. So. Yeah. I mean, it, it slept, but it slept on in terms of like not being up there with them five. Because there's there is a gap between me and the person that's above me. It's like yeah. a, you know, I think maybe Cole is probably the one in front of me, mm-hmm. and it's probably like a three hundred thousand um, like a copy gap. So I don't know. It might be. Uh, my people, I'm, I don't know if I'm as personable as 
Even uh, even when everybody I made... loves like people <laughs> love Cole. and Cole's a jerk, yo. That's my that's one of my <laughs> that's one of my best friends though. But Cole is a jerk too, yeah. Like he's, he's a jerk. A jerk. Also. He, he's, he's a jerk. jerk. No, nah, he's more of a jerk than me. But he's just he's like he's quiet about he's it. He's just quiet. Like yeah. he's, he's just quiet like, about he's it. He's quiet. He's like light skinned You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you're you know like I'm outwardly. I'm like like yeah. black ass like yeah. DC loud. Start yeah. ratting this rant. It's an angry yeah, black yeah, rant. Look at this. Exactly. <laughs> J. Cole says some slick stuff, but he's not going to be loud about it. It'd just be slick. Mm -hmm. While they would be like. Oh, and it's in his raps, too, about yeah. you. Too, yeah. About these raps. This, this, this. He's so, a jerk. So, so you, do you consciously <laughs> think about that now? You walk in the room, you dap everybody up now. Oh, say, man, What's up? it's the worst life to live. Make dog. sure everybody's because, drinking. Because you know what I'm talking about. Because you could go and you could be in the club and you might get a text like, oh, it's like that. It's dark. I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm drunk. It's dark, yo. Everybody then, sees you, but you don't see yeah, everybody. And it's like, yeah. or you go in a room and it's like mad there, and you don't want to be like scouring the room to make sure you dap. It's just, it's, it's an awkward life to live, man. Every time you go out, oh, it's like that. Brides be texting you like, oh, you brand new now. You in the back of the club, yo. You in the back. Of, you're in the. You're in the bathroom. <laughs> I ain't even see you. <laughs> you, you have, do you ever express that to journalists and bloggers and stuff to let them know they like it's wanna, not personal? They don't, don't want to hear nothing from me no more. They don't want to hear. Nothing. But you know what? I like. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to do this thing where I'm just empowering the fans. Like if you f with me, like I'm trying to give you the power. Word. Because I'm trying to let you know. Like let's just let it be known now that I'm not gonna be a media darling. I'm not gonna be Janelle Monae. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Janelle Monae, talented as f mm -hmm. like. We can do the same amount of numbers, but she can get Good Morning America, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a Saturday Night Live. She can get a seat and she can get to sit at, on Letterman or something like that. We can do the same amount, but I, I ain't getting none of that. I ain't getting none, nothing like that. So I've accepted it. Like it's gonna, it's gotta mm -hmm. be with the fans. If I'm gonna get there, mm -hmm. if I'm gonna get where I want to get, it's gotta be with the, it's gotta really be right. with the fans. Power to the people. If it's not, if I, if I don't get there, I don't get there. And I'm starting to deal with it, like, cause you know my whole shit is being legendary, being great, and being one of the best. I've already kind of solidified myself as one of the, you know, premier artists. But now it's like, if I'm not, if I'm gonna get to that next, next level, the one Jay was talking about, the next, the next that's gonna be here in 10 years, it's gonna be through the people. It's not gonna be how Drake get, got it. He yeah. a media darling. It's not gonna be how Cole got it. He a media darling. It's not gonna be how Kendrick got it. He a media darling. It ain't about talent. Cause I could keep up with all of them. But it's just about like the people. I'm not, some just not, it's not gonna be there for them. Like that's not for them. You Maybe got to you sit down pulling... with Jerry Seinfeld, though. Nobody gets to do that. That's true. That's a huge deal. That's my man. Right. He understands now, Who me. else can say that? He understands my personality. I but you... that ain't no accolade, though. That ain't no, oh, you cool with Jerry Seinfeld. These get Grammys, magazine covers, but you friends with somebody. That ain't no, that ain't no accolade. I think you should start screaming about dark skin bias. <laughs> no, for real. Nobody, like, nobody want to hear our plight, Charlamagne. Wave, wave that flag. It's, 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 it's bias you got your own show people. now, Charlamagne. They don't want to hear that no more. <laughs> yeah, but you see how they got to lighten me on that show? Nah. They like, yeah, they I did no, say I'm just playing. I just they said that. They, they did. They, they, did. Know, they no, did. No, they don't. They definitely no, they just do it out there. No, they, <laughs> they gonna say, exactly. They're going to say you bleaching your skin now. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, for real, because when he was on there, I said, I didn't know who that was. That's BS. Okay. They don't do nothing to me. It's the same black the skin discoloration you've been seeing. I thought it was Don Lemon. It's all good. Oh, I got a quote for you, though, man. Don't be afraid of your fears. They're not there to scare you. They're there to let you know something is worth it. So think about that when you think about that chick, my, man. My fears my fears is failure. That's the only thing I like. Really, I truly feel is. But I, fa I, I was there already. Right. right. I was there. I was you there. You that fear. I remember, Sean, it's crazy because. You felt like a failure when was, you got dropped? In a, in a way, though, because I come from a city where I was the only one. I was the first mm -hmm. one. So I'm on this, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, it was, so, it was such a seamless transition. It was. It was like people didn't even know you got drive. It was so crazy. I remember driving. I, I, I was. I remember driving to the gas. Oh no, Seven Eleven. My sister was driving, and she was like, "I gotta tell you something. Uh, I got a paper from Interscope." Was saying, I was like, "Word." And then like, maybe like a week later, No Hands came out in mm -hmm. Atlanta, and then Jimmy Iovine and Polo was talking, and it was like. You want to do this again? Mm -hmm. And then I did like a, a couple, like I, you know, I was still torn crazy. And then Ross was like, "Yo, meet with me in Miami." I was like, "All right." Perfect that timing. That was it. And I was all right. I said, "I ain't going that's, back." That's a bad feeling on your ego, though, when you get trapped. No matter. But you know, it, it gave me that. Look at my old interviews and looking. I got that air. I got that fire. Like I'm, the chip got bigger because <laughs> I know what it's like to do. You know what I'm saying? I, and I feel like I represent that. Like a lot of these don't know what it's like to fail. Mm -hmm. A lot of them don't. You know what I'm saying? A lot. Of don't know what it's like to to fight back. 
when you gotta be a fighter all your life, I've been right. fighting all my life. To be, like you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna. Do, right, well, be, I'm not doing the what was me. Oh, that's Oprah. Who said that? Oh, right. Medea. Who said that? Sealy. Sealy. <laughs> what are <laughs> what <laughs> them what was me? Tyler Perry yeah. movies. What, black what are them talking? Fighting fighting all my life. <laughs> I'm fighting all my life. <laughs> nah, but I was you know I was an undersized playing ball. I was doing mm -hmm. all. That. So I know what it's like. You know what I'm saying? So. I, I I feel like I represent that, you know what I'm saying? And that's where that edge come from. That's where it's like, yo, I, I use y'all, I use y'all, y'all, y'all belittling as motivation, but for so long. At some point you gonna try to you gonna have to respect me, dog. You know what I'm saying? But you feel that you've achieved success. I mean Yeah, but I got I got bigger goals, man. I got right. I got Always bigger I got bigger ambitions, man. Like I call, I call my album Ambition. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm right. saying? That's a big that's big, right. you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to be legendary. Word. These are my songs. So my favorite What's the records. next album? I don't know. It'll be it'll, it'll drop in the summer though. You got album you got, about nothing. Yeah, you got a square, you got something stand you standing on right now? Yeah, I got a lot of music right now. I got my own studio now, so now it's on. Where you know the direction you're going in? It's in Mars. <laughs> in Mars. You, you know the direction? Do you know what you're aiming at? What's your I don't know. I don't I don't know What's your I'm, mission I don't statement? know if I'll have anything for you guys on the radio. I don't know anymore. Because I listen to like Albums like like Pusha's album and like mm -hmm. and like you know that was even, in my top five last year. Even Yeezus and all that like and it's like I could commend it because it's like you know it ain't really fit no mold. It's like you no know? quote unquote radio records. Yeah, Yeezus but it's, was whack. Though. But I feel like um, I feel like. But it's, Wale, it's, you it's, always it's, have great radio records. Yeah, but and I'm not even saying that you and tried to. I never to, really tried but, to. Yeah. I never tried to. But it's like if it don't come, I'm still gonna put down. Always on. have. If, it, if, it, if, it, if I don't feel, if I don't have enough, I don't feel like there's something for radio, I just, you know, I'm not going to stop. Like, I'm not going to not put it out. I'm not going to wait. You know but I, mean? I don't think that you consciously say, okay, this is a great radio No, nah, I just try to talk. Right. I just try to talk. And most of my re my successful radio records are the ones that are, like, conversational. You're not going to go on a press run of rants, though, are you? No. Nah, okay. I only going to rant here. Nobody want to hear that shit no well. <laughs> All right, Wale. Well, so Wale, that documentary is coming on Monday? That's right. And Monday. what do you hope to accomplish with the documentary? On what do you want people to see with you? you know, this is actually Revolt's first documentary. That's dope. So it's that's a, a big deal. It ain't really like, it's not really like no mission statement behind it. It's just like, you know, this is where I'm at. Like, this is, I'm going to give y'all a little bit more of me. It's been, I, I've been in the game for like six years now, so I'm going to give a little bit more of myself up, you know, for my fans. Mm -hmm. It's just a part of that whole Empowering, empowering the, uh, empowering the people. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? To like, to fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Or, or get a better gauge of who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, and they can, you could feel how you want to feel. They've been feeling how they felt anyway. Is your mom in a documentary? No, nah, she. I've always felt like you're a mama's boy. She, like, I, I got a, I, I got a weird grow. Like, if you African, you know. Like, I was in detention center from sixth grade to twelfth grade. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then they closed the joint down in 2008 or something like that. But uh, I was in detention center from sixth grade to twelfth grade and. You know, when you got African parents that like that's on your ass every day, like ain't no beating like an African beat. Yeah, like I, like we when I lived in DC, I had to be in the house at like four. Like you know what I'm saying? Like when I was, you know, when I was like nine or Don't ten. Those street lights come on at four. Yeah, like nine, I, that's what I'm saying. I was Damn. Like, way before that. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Those still cartoons on TV when I was in. So, you know, it's a it's a little bit of a disconnect that like that that they give you like they almost kind of like frowned at me like because I was so out of control mm -hmm. so I just had to get myself together around the time like luckily luck by the grace of God I got a scholarship to play ball in college and that's when I just started kind of learning like how the world works and how to you know you know conduct myself and stuff like that so you know I don't I don't I don't have a super great relationship with my mother like mm -hmm. a lot of people do but you know she holds me down and I love her to death. But she was uh she came to Nigeria like a little bit after the the joint um um aired and now my father he like lives in Nigeria now for a while. Okay. So if you drop if you drop an album this year and the album comes out and the album don't get the critical acclaim and you don't get put in that space that you want to be in like like Jay said the guy that's gonna be here ten years from now would, would, was that gonna upset you? I'm just gonna keep working, man. That's all I can do. I'm gonna just keep working. Like, and how working. will you know when you're there? You, I, that's, they, they ask me that question every time I do uh, press. I don't know. I don't know. But I just I ain't there yet, though. I, but I know when I'm there, I'm going to know, though. I think you're there. I'm going to know. Well, shoot. We talked about that. when I, I went to um, I went to uh, D.C. Uh, with Jay and, and Juan and, and um, yesterday. So we talked about that. Like We talked about how like a lot of us feel like we got to drop mixtapes 
to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like to feed up, to start to heat up. Right. And you know, they was like, you don't have to do that no more. Like you one of them artists that don't have to do that. I don't know. But I don't want to find out. So I'm, <laughs> next tape coming soon. <laughs> I don't want to find out. All right. Well, we appreciate you joining us today. Thank Wale. you. Thank you. All right. It's the Breakfast Club. It's Wale.